Now we're going to relate Ka and Kb values for conjugate acids and bases. So uh, we are learning to work out K Pkb from Pka and uh, then work out Pka from Pkb using the relation Pka plus Pkb equals 14. Uh, and then we can use this to calculate the pH for conjugate acids and bases. Let's remind ourselves what we mean by conjugate acids and bases. If we have a weak acid, HA, uh, and then if that breaks apart into A- minus and H+, plus, the A- minus is called the conjugate base, and it will be a weak base, because this reaction can go backwards, it can pick up an H+, plus, so it behaves as a base. The kind of question we want to answer is if we're given the pKa or Ka value of a weak acid, in this case phenol, what will the pH of a solution containing not the weak acid but the conjugate base be? For example, what is the pH of 0.1 moles per decimeter cubed sodium phenoxide? Since the phenoxide ion is a weak base, we want to know the Kb value for this ion reacting with water to form phenol and hydroxide ions. Well, we've been given a pKa value for the conjugate acid, and so we can use the relation pKa plus pKb equals 14 and rearrange this to make pKb the subject, which gives pKb equals 14 minus pKa, which in this case is 14 minus 9.9, .9, which equals 4.1. And now this has been simplified to a weak base question because we know the concentration of the weak base, 0.1 mole per decimeter cubed, and we know Kb, or at least pKb, which can be easily converted into Kb. So to calculate the pH of a weak base, we say uh, hydroxide concentration equals the square root of Kb multiplied by the base concentration, which is, in this case, square root of 10 to the power minus 4.1. That's converted our pKb value into a Kb value, uh, just like we would do to convert pH and H plus concentration, uh, multiplied by 0 0.1 which gives hydroxide concentration of 2.88 times 10 to the minus 3. Uh, pOH is then minus log of this, which gives 2.6, and pH is 14 minus this, which is 11.4. This should seem like a reasonable answer since we have calculated the pH of a weak base, which you would expect to lie in the region between 7 and 14. We can do these calculations the other way around, uh, starting from a weak base. If a weak base is protonated to form BH+, then BH+, will be a weak acid. For example, NH3 in equilibrium with NH4+, and OH- has a pKb value of 4.8. Now, uh, what is the concentration of a 0.1 mole per decimeter cubed solution of NH4 plus Cl minus, ammonium chloride. We really want to know the Ka value of the reverse reaction, NH4 plus behaving as a weak acid and uh, partially dissociating into NH3 and H plus. So once again, we can use the relation pKa plus pKb equals 14 and rearrange this as pKa equals 14 minus pKb, which in this case is 14 minus 4.8, which equals 9.2. So continuing with this, we now have a weak acid question in which we know the concentration of the weak acid and of the pKa. Therefore, we can work out the H plus concentration by taking square root of Ka multiplied by the AH concentration, which in this case is square root of 10 to the minus 9.2, converting the pKa value into a Ka value, multiplied by 0.1, which gives 7.94 times 10 to the minus 6 moles per decimeter cubed. pH is then minus log of this, which is 5.1. Once again, this is a sensible answer since it lies between 0 and 7, uh, meaning that it's a somewhat acidic solution. It's not, uh, it's not really 
such a good idea of me perhaps just to give you the formula pKa plus pKb equals 14, uh, but much better to give you the proof. So here we go. If uh, we have HA dissociating, we can write an expression for Ka for this, which is H plus times A minus divided by HA concentration. And then for the conjugate base A minus, we can write an expression for Kb, which is AH times OH minus divided by A minus. Then if we multiply these two equilibrium constants together, we have H plus times A minus divided by HA multiplied by AH times OH minus divided by A minus the AH and A minus terms both cancel out, so this expression simplifies to H plus concentration multiplied by OH minus concentration, which is exactly how we define Kw, the ionic product of water. Therefore, Ka times Kb equals Kw. Uh, taking logs gives pKa plus pKb equals pKw and that has a numerical value of 14 at 298 Kelvin. Just uh, one slide of questions here in which you have to work out the pKa or pKb of the conjugate acid or base.